everybody welcome back to my channel and today i'm going to be talking about something that i think about a lot and i'm sure if you clicked on this video then you think about it a lot too which that is what is my style so i'm going to be sharing some tips and tricks of how you can find your style and some things that i use to try and help determine what my style is so my first trick is to record what your favorite clothing is. So once everything is washed on a day, everything is washed and all your favorite clothes are in the closet, go through your closet and look through some stuff and do a 10 scale rating and look at like, let's take this hoodie I'm wearing, for example, it is a butterfly hoodie. Um, Like I would say, if I was looking through my closet and I saw this hoodie, I would say, okay, well, I like this hoodie on a scale of 1 to 10. It would probably be a 10 because it's very comfortable. It's very stylish. It has one of my favorite things, Oop, a butterfly. And it's overall cute and simplistic. And it's something I can pair with a lot of things. And it's sort of oversized without being this is a dress type of hoodie. And it also has these little drawstrings which i don't think i have any other hoodies with drawstrings so i don't think i have any other hoodies that are actual hoodies because they don't have these but anyways back to the point i would look at this and say i like it on a scale of 10 and i would list some reasons why i like it a 10 where if i was looking at this hoodie and say something that would be impossible but if i didn't like this hoodie and i said oh well i don't like this hoodie because it is oversized maybe you like stuff that's more form-fitting and that's totally understandable so you could say well i don't like this hoodie because it's oversized so i'd probably rate it a three maybe so you want to record all of those things like i would put down white butterfly hoodie 10 and then maybe something else like a certain pair of jeans that you just think has too many rips and they're uncomfortable then you might say rip blue jeans five something like that so i want you to really think about it because it can be fun it could be a really fun activity because you're looking through your closet you're seeing what you like you're seeing what you don't like and it can be something that can help you to start to determine a style. So my second thing I want you to do is get inspiration. So go on Pinterest. Pinterest is a really good, good one. Go on Instagram, things like that. So after you've recorded what your favorite clothing is, take for example, we're using this hoodie again, uh, this white hoodie. I might search for it. I know this hoodie is kind of more of a soft girl style, if you guys know what that is. It's kind of a trendy soft girl style. So I would look up soft girl clothing and I would see some inspiration for that specific style of soft girl and I would see if that matched up with me and go through different aesthetics. There's a lot of really good find your aesthetic videos out there. So style, aesthetic, you know, that type of thing. There's a lot of good videos for that. So definitely check out those. So then I would look at soft girl outfits and soft girl styles and I would look at it and instead of thinking that looks good because a lot of the time we see stuff and we're like, yes, that is perfect. That looks amazing. But I want you to think about, would I wear this? Because I might think a really punk type of dress, emo type of dress, looks really good because it looks really good on the person. And they have the type of face for it and the type of makeup and the type of hair for it. But would I wear that? Is that something that I'd want to wear? Because as I was saying, going back to my example of like a emo punk type dress, you may think that that looks good, but you know, the person might have to do special things to make that dress look good. They might have to do their makeup in a certain way that matches it and brings all these elements together. And are you willing to do that for a single piece of clothing? So that's why I want you to think about, is this something I would wear on a daily basis? Not, is that something that looks good? Because they're two different and totally separate things. So my third trick that I want you to do is after you find something that you see this style and you're like, yes, 
this is the one. So say your style is emo and you're like, yes, this is the one. I don't want you to immediately go out and start buying a bunch of clothing that's emo styled because you still need to think about it. Even if you fit into a certain style category, that doesn't mean you're going to like everything that's in that style category because people are different. We don't fit into a single certain box. We just have this box that's pretty general of what we like, but you know, you may want to add some other elements because usually I like light colors as you can see this white hoodie that's my favorite I like lighter colors but sometimes I like things like I have a burgundy sweatshirt that is also something I would rate a 10 because I really like that sweatshirt even though it may not fit in with the color scheme I usually like to do. So I think you can have your general, this is what I like, and you can also have your more specifics of, okay, this is also what I like. So I hope this video helped some of you guys out there find your style. And my main thing I want you to think about is just research. Do your research because it can be fun to find your style and do research for that. It can be really fun, trust me. Who doesn't love just scrolling through the internet all day? Seriously, it's an excuse to just be on your laptop. So please do your research before going out and buying things because we don't want you to regret your decision. So remember, research! <laughs> so as long as you do that, trust me, you will find your style. And, you know, you can also look through things while you're doing your research. Um, count how many times I said research, it's a lot. Um, while you're doing your research, you can also look at clothing from online websites. If you find your style is more trendy or it's something that's more up to date, which... Forever 21 does have more retro styles too, so it's overall a good website to look at. You can look at Forever 21, and if you're shorter and you're younger like me, then you might want to look in the kids section because I'm 4'10", so I can't really fit into many things for women, only extra smalls. So I'd say definitely look in what your size is because if you see something that's perfect and it's not in your size, you are going to be bummed out because I know I've been through it, it sucks. So just look in your sizes, even if you don't plan to get any of it, you never know when you're going to find a hidden gem. And you can also use this time, if you find any clothes you like, to start making a little wish list. And when it's Christmas time, or it's your birthday, or just any time you're getting presents, like, I know some people, they get presents for Easter. So anytime you're getting presents and you need to send out a wish list, then you can take clothing from this wish list you have and boom, you already have some clothes on your wish list. So if you follow these tips and you really focus on finding your style, I'm sure you will. It's quite hard, but it's also simplistic. I don't really know how to describe it. But thank you for watching. I hope everyone out there finds their style and finds what they need to wear and what they want to wear and what's comfortable for them. I hope all of you find that and I will see you in the next video. Bye!